CBB's Bedtime Story. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder where that is. Oh, hello, I'm Kimberly. I was just reading the adverts in this newspaper because I thought I might like a new house, but I'm not sure where. I do know it would need to be a very pretty place with lots of open space. Hmm, and not too much noise. Not like the home that Mr Troll has moved into in tonight's bedtime story. It's by Rachel Mortimer and Liz Pichon and it's called The Three Billy Goats Fluff. Trip, trap. Trip, trap. Trip, trap. Trip, trap. How was he supposed to sleep? Mr Troll buried his head in his pillow and groaned. He looked back at the newspaper advertisement. How could he have been so stupid? Troll paradise. Fine riverside apartment with slimy toads and running beetle juice. Bargain. Great pad for sale. Something had to be done because what the advertisement had not said was noisy. Underneath the only bridge from the rocky mountain to the lush green field. A room with a rubbish view. For on the mountain next to Mr Troll's bridge lived the three billy goats fluff. They loved to eat the lush green grass in the field by the bridge. It made their fleeces extra fluffy, important for mother goat's knitting business. The three billy goats fluff crossed the bridge twice a day. But this morning, Mr Troll had a surprise for them. He'd put up a notice. No trip trapping over my bridge. Trip trappers will be eaten. Little Billy Goat Fluff had not yet learned to read, so he set off as usual. He just put one hoof on the bridge when Mr Troll leapt out. I'm a troll with a very sore head. Stop trip trapping over my bed. When I'm tired and feeling blue, there's nothing quite like Little Goat Stew. <laughs> little Billy Goat was very scared and scampered back to Mother Goat. Next came middle-sized Billy Goat Fluff. His hooves were louder than little billy goats. Mr Troll leapt out again. I'm a troll in a very bad mood. Waking me up is terribly rude. Middle-sized goat makes a lovely roast or tasty patty upon my toast. Middle-sized billy goat raced back to big billy goat and they were both too scared to cross the bridge. We'll tell our mum about you, they shouted. Mother Goat listened to her billy goats and she thought about Mr Troll. She knew what it was like to live without sleep. Little billy goat still woke her up every night. That night as she sat knitting booties from the finest billy goat fluff, Mother Goat had an idea. The next day Mr Troll was waiting for them. <laughs> I'm a troll as tired as can be. I'm going to have goat and mash for my tea. Big Billy Goat Fluff trembled as he handed Mr Troll a note and a present from Mother Goat. <laughs> if you can hear us trip trap by, then you can make three Billy Goat pie. But if we're quiet as tiny mice, you must stop being grumpy and start being nice. Little Billy Goat Fluff was the first to try out Mother Goat's plan. He shakily put on the hand-knitted hoof muffs. They were so fluffy, bright yellow, his favourite colour. Slowly, he stepped out onto the bridge. Mr Troll listened from his bedroom. Nothing. Nothing? Middle-sized Billy Goat Fluff was next. His hooves were quaking as he put on four exceedingly fluffy hoof muffs. Pink! Middle-sized Billy Goat was a real softy. Carefully he stepped out onto the bridge. Mr Troll had his ear pressed to the roof. He couldn't hear a thing. Finally it was Big Billy Goat Fluff's turn. His hoof muffs had taken most of the night to knit. With four huge pom-poms on his hooves, Big Billy Goat stepped onto the bridge. Mr Troll strained his ears. <gasps> Silence at last. How had they done it? Mm -hmm. Mr Troll came out from under the bridge. He looked at the three billy goats fluff tucking into the lush green grass in the field. 
He looked at his present from Mother Goat and then he opened it. <laughs> inside were the fluffiest earmuffs he had ever seen, wrapped inside one of Mother Goat's special blankets. Dear Mr Troll, we are very sorry for waking you up. We hope this gift helps you have your best sleep ever. Love from Mother Goat and the Three Billy Goats Fluff. That night, Mr. Troll drank a hot mug of beetle juice. He read his favourite bedtime story. Then he put on his fluffy earmuffs and cuddled into his soft green blanket. Mm. For the first time in his new house, he slept and slept. He dreamed of fluffy clouds, fluffy toads, fluffy beetle juice, and best of all, his new quiet friends, the three Billy Goats Fluff. And that story was called The Three Billy Goats Fluff. I hope you have sweet dreams tonight and sleep and sleep like Mr. Troll because it's time for you lot to go to bed. And I'll see you soon for another bedtime story. Night, night. Now, let's see if I can find the perfect place to live.